Ladies and gentlemen, it is the 2015 Lakeside World Championships and we're celebrating our 30th year here at the home of World Darts, the Lakeside! We now introduce the Windmore World Masters finalists. He's the reigning Antwerp Open and Zagadon Masters champion. It's the boy from the black country, Yoza Jamie Hughes! Classic champion. He's the reigning Northern Ireland Open champion. It's Dazza, Glenn Durrant. They're going crackers in the North Ormsby Working Men's Club and they're pretty excited here too at the Lakeside. It's Jim Proudfoot alongside George Riley in the commentary box. Lakeside bouncing tonight. We could be in for quite a treat in this one as well. A quarter-final place at stake, an expectant murmur around the venue. And as you heard there, the usual enthusiastic reception to greet the players, a real adrenaline burst to extinguish any backstage nerves, although I did think we'd lost Jamie Hughes at one point. Thankfully, he's turned up. So, the boy from the black country, Hughes, the highest ranked of 13 debutants in the men's draw, off the back of a terrific 2014 that yielded his first ranking title at the Antwerp Open and the Zyderdown Masters as well. A uh, number 10 seed, hungry to prolong and improve a dream debut. He's up against Dozza from Borough, Glenn Durant, the Borough boy, seeded seven, and treading this lakeside hockey for a second time. Five times a ranking event winner, bags of experience, and a central part now of the England team over, what, the past couple of years or so, winning the Northern Ireland Open in uh, 2014. Uh, defending his title, he does not want to be leaving tonight either. Something's got to give, though, it's the best of seven, this, to play Daryl Fitton in the quarters. And the ref is a 21-year-old. First set, first line. You were. Glenn, two for first. Game on. Two men immensely proud of who they are and where they come from, with every good reason. Glenn Durrant, a proud Borough boy. One out to start the from him either. Two. Kissing the middles for a badge on his shirt as he made his way onto the stage. The man he's up against. Jamie Hughes, Yozza, comes out denying him a 180 with his first visit to the hockey. Jamie named after Yozza Hughes from Boys of the Black Stuff. Not a boy from the Black Stuff, boy from the Black Country here today. 
Yozza. 96. Coming out to Hi Ho Wolverhampton. <laughs> Son of Tipton. The birthplace of Wolves' most famous player of the modern era, Steve Ball. 96. Well, I fancy this would be a good contest, Jim, tonight. Terrific start from the pair of them. Durant's going to stay down and continues to pepper the 19 this time. 95. <laughs> 100. Glenn, you acquire 170. So Durant on a finish. Can he start the night with a 12 data? He might be able to. Ball for a 170, top of the shot finish at the first time of asking. Nearly the perfect start. He'll be back though. Pressure all that can be applied here. But what a start. To this one with a quarter final place at stake. Then you require 25. Nine double eight then. For Durant, no problem with the night. What about the eight? Absolutely, it's perfect. Second what a start to, to this match. First blood to Durant. Fifty-eight. One hundred and forty. He's in imperious form, and he had to be as well in his first round match against Carol Sedlacek. Glenn Durrant beating him. One hundred and eighty. As soon as he his first maximum of the night, the first of this match. Ninety-five. One hundred and eighty. How about this scoring? Back to back, one eighty to leave eighty-three. And Durant goes down, but he's absolutely miles away. Forty-two. Jamie require eighty-three. So eighty-three to hit right back. Treble seventeen leaves double sixteen. Going oh. on the second leg. Jamie Hughes. Eleven dark legs. Eleven. The standard is high, very, very high. No letter from either player from the first dart of the night. There's another maximum. 200th of the tournament, and number 201 might not be far behind. Jamie might have had four 180s in the first three legs, two of them denied him by the bounce house. Ninety-seven. That's a one eighty a thon at the moment. Will come down and makes absolutely no mistake. How about another one in there? Yes indeed. Well, the standard is absolutely sky high. Very early days, very early days, but nevertheless, look at that. Superb averages. Durant averaged 96 in beating Sedlacek in the first round. The Czech Republic player averaged over 99 and a half in that match and lost, which gives you an idea of just how well Durham threw. It's actually the third highest losing average of any player on this stage in tournament history. No finish now for Glenn. Sixty. 
Jamie, you require 151. So, 151 for Jamie. That's the start. What about the treble 17? He'll go for 14 here. 119. Treble in fact. Glenn, you require 104. Leaves 32. Will he get a shot, though? Treble 20 to start us off. No, he goes 18s. No finish. So we'll go back to 20s to try and apply some pressure. 56. Jamie require 32. Double 16 for a leg against the Durant throw for Jamie Hughes. Game shot the third leg. Jamie Hughes. With three darts in his hand, you sense that it wasn't going to be an opportunity. He would pass up. Game on. And he takes an early lead. The initial momentum in this match with the man from the Black Country. 85. Two legs on the spin to seize the initiative here. Both players peppering that treble for fun at the moment. 137. One. That's a real rarity in the context of this match. 57. Visit to the Oki without a single treble. If he had the momentum after winning that last leg against the darts, he might just have given it all back again. 137. Two 137s for Durrant in this leg. Look of steely focus and determination from Hughes. But another visit without a treble. And a chance for Durrant now to build against the leg. He'll switch down. And why not when you're throwing like that? 96. He'll be back for 131. Will he get six starts at it? Yes, he will. 46. Glenn, you Big chance to break back straight away then for T side's finest. 1. Treble 17, he'll look at now. 57. Jamie still back on 2-5-3, not in a position to take advantage of Glenn's worst visit of the night. 60. 74 to Glenn break back. 74. Treble 14 would leave double 16. That's half the job done. Couple of 16s to hit right back. Games from the fourth Thomas. leg, Glenn Durant. Hugh and McCool from Durant. Fifth leg, Glenn Durant. He gets the darts back, 2-2. Game on. most impressive aspect of Glenn's performance in the first round was his finishing. Look at that 60% checkout accuracy this week for Glenn Durrant. He started a night hitting two from three. 55. 10 from 17 he hit in that match against Sedlacek. He started the event, Durrant, with 30 family and friends down from Borough. He's packed them all up back home. And enjoying that. One hundred. Jamie's scoring, just letting him down over the last couple of half legs. Glenn in a position to take advantage. Let's remember the first to four sets. Sixty-five. Glenn seemingly set well to take a 1-0 lead in sets very shortly. 16. So six starts at Glenn least at 116. 116 to win this set.
60. Well, he'll need the six, but he's handily placed. Yeah, no pressure at all from Hughes this time. He'll be counting these as practice darts. Whoa! Perhaps the late's not gone yet. Perhaps the set's still there. Will he get a shot? 16 leaves tops for the set. Miles away. One more. Game no shot problem at all. What a standard to get Seven us going. Seven first first point to Durham. He takes Game the opening off. set. Took the opening set with an average of 99.99. 60. Those are so quickly out of the traps. But the scoring has gone south. Durant's consistency, which was very obvious in that first round match, it's certainly been well, there for all to see in the first five legs of this one. The Chiefs are much. Jamie Fishy Hughes in. is up to number five in the BDO rankings. It's easy to forget that it's actually his Lexide debut this year. Seeded 10, the only seeded debutant on the men's half of the draw. Has come close to the Lexide in the past, controversially timed out against Andy Bolton in 2012. Lost in the final qualifying round to Dave Prins the following year. 85 against T-side opposition again tonight. Big advantage in this leg for Glenn, which is, of course, 81. against the darts. Jamie with 60, 58 and 85 so far in this leg. Glenn already on a finish, 158 points ahead after nine darts apiece. 140. Glenny require 140. It's a good visit. Will he get another? No finish now. No treble either this time. Treble 20 now would be handy. 60. Nothing Jamie doing though, so a chance for you. They could do with this. Another one of those would leave him double 19. Double 19 for a 158 when he needs it. 139. Let you require 80. Quarter of an inch made all the difference. It's an 80 for Durant. To nick a leg. Two darts at double 10 against the darts. 70. Jamie require 19. How costly will it be? Single three, double eight, two darts at it. And a leg in which he was a, a mile adrift at one stage. Game from the first leg, Jamie Hughes, second leg length to throw first, game on. Well, George, I don't know about you, but I think it's the psychological aspect for Hughes of winning that leg and not losing a third consecutive one could make all the 96. difference. Absolutely key, wasn't it? Considering how far he was adrift as well. But he knows he has to build. This has to be a big Sixty. visit. It's not. Jamie's daughter Lacey, six years old, watching at home, staying with her mum. Been watching on the iPad, I'm told. Not bad for a six-year-old. Maybe Father Christmas was pretty kind, pretty generous this year. Lacey allowed to stay up late. She'll be hoping it's not her only late night of the week. 40. A bit of support down from a distance for not just this game, but others to come between now and Sunday. 40. Much better scoring this. 138. He leaves the finish, Durant, as well.
97. Eighty-one. Lenny requires seventy. Seventy then. First one in double eight. Game shot on the second leg. Glenn Durant. Nerves of steel for Glenn Durant after the missed darts at doubles in the first leg of this set. With throw then to start. Sixty. The second set. Have a look at those averages. During over 100 early days, of course. 96. He's been just as good down there as he has upstairs as well. There are your checkouts, three of five for Hughes. 50%, four of eight for Duran, who leads. He's going to go down for 139. This is first set scoring again. Just had that little lull. He seems to have played his way through it, Jamie. 100. One hundred. Fifty eight. Jamie, big favourite in this leg. Even with that wayward single five. One hundred and twenty five. It's the recovery. That's one, that's one way to do it. Fifty-eight. Jamie requires seventy-seven. For the third leg to go with the darts in this second set. Time on his hands. Treble ten. He's a double sixteen man, Jamie Hughes, and he's got one dart at it to go two one up in the second. Going from the third leg, Jamie Hughes. Bob McLenton from first game on. And his mum Petal back home in the Black Country with her granddaughter, Jamie's daughter Lacey. Jamie doing you proud at the moment. Sixty. Yeah, great response this from the 28-year-old. Uh, 100. Atmosphere inside the lakeside tonight, absolutely brilliant. Mostly watching the darts, although the bars were reasonably busy 99. as well. They made way up to the commentary box. 60. Most of the audience are trying to do both in tandem. 60. can do both and still wear headwear, all the better. 99. 100. Good last start from Hughes. Just keeping pace on Durant's darts. Pressure's on the Borough boy here. Two one down. Sixty. How costly will that be? He hasn't had a ton plus visit in this leg. It's a leg, of course, that he has to win in order to save the set. Sixty. Not the time for a sixty for Jamie Hughes.
Much better from Glenn. 133. And sets himself up with a two dart finish. And he knows he will be back. One hundred and forty. Glenn, you require fifty. Single eighteen. Two darts at double sixteen. To tie it up in the second. Game from the fourth leg. Glenn Dowd. He's finishing. Glenn Glenn Still impressive. Game on. Fourth leg out of six that he's won. And through to one of these crucial deciding legs. This one in the second set. 97. On the Hughes throw. But a poor leg here will be the difference between the two players going off for the first mini break at 1 1. And Durrant having a 2 0 lead. 87. Yeah, both sets. Going the distance. It's Hughes who needs to respond. He has the darts. Has he got a treble in him? 60. Oh. Window of opportunity to perhaps for Durant here. Bit awkward. He'll come down for 19. 58. Not happy with himself there. Wide open bed. So Hughes perhaps got away with one there. There you go. Another one of those. One hundred and thirty-four. Like That's better. One hundred and forty. After the eighty-seven and the fifty-eight in this crucial leg. Ton 40 from Glenn Durrant. 50. So Yoz are on a finish. 100. Strap yourself in because the next 90 seconds of dance action could be crucial in this entire match. 160. Needed the treble with the first start. Big opportunity 60. for Glenn Durrant. 76 Glenn for a 2 0 lead. Double eight, two darts at it. Games from the second set, London. A crucial and perhaps match-defining moment. A shift change in the commentary box, it's Vassos Alexander alongside Jim Bradford. Ray, thank you, it has been hugely entertaining up to this point. Two sets thank in double quick time. Third set, first leg, Glenn to Propers, game on. The only difference has been that Glenn has won the deciding leg in both sets. So far in the... Ten legs of darts that we've played. The first man to a double in each leg has won that leg. 79. Without his opponent having a chance to finish. It's been good stuff, Assos. It really has. And Jamie here is an emotional sort of character. 140. And the sort of bloke you think that would have benefited from that break. A chance to pull himself together and to remind himself how proud he is that he is a seed at Lakeside. 85. This is, let's not forget, his World Championship debut. They will be watching on in the tilted barrel in Tipton and the Staffordshire Knot in Darleston. 100. Hoping that Jamie Hughes can turn this around. One hundred eighty. Break hasn't done too much to affect Glenn. Forty-three. Glenn, you require one hundred and fifty-seven. So for the first leg of the third set, a one hundred fifty-seven. One thirty-five is best finish of the week so far, which uh, came against Sedlacek. Ninety-five. 
taken 95 for off that tally, and he will be back for 62 in a moment. Just a little bit of inconsistency. 58, Glennie requires 62. Well, a lot of inconsistency, 43 followed by 58. That's not the Jamie Hughes that we saw in the first round, or that we saw throwing the darts that made him the 10th seed. Two 16s now for Durham. Game on the first leg, Glenn Durham, take a turn to first game on. With the darts, the opening leg of the third set. Jamie has to break at some stage, though. 100. 2 0 down. Now's as good a time as any. Doesn't really want to fall 3 0 down. But first things first, hold your throw right here. Good, 135. Two loose starts. So Jamie just taking a little bit of time 81. to compose himself, and he recovered well with the treble. Dart number three. Fifth meeting of these two players. Jamie leads the series 3 1 at the moment. He beat Glenn in the quarterfinals of the Antwerp Open on his way to winning his first title. Perhaps an omen that he's ended up. Drawing the man from Middlesbrough today. Glenn's only win against Jamie in the Polish Open back in May. Thirty-eight. I think Tipton will be empty tonight. Regulars. At the darts, not just at Lakeside. Known as the BDO Fanatics. The Aussie cricket team has its Fanatics. But this is Fanatics dart style. Fill it up, Jamie. 140. Seventy-five. Well, a single 20 Jamie would have been horrendous for Durant there after the bounce out, but the treble five did him a favour because he's on a finish. <laughs> treble 20 he will go for here. 59. But Durant has had a look at 170 in this match already and come close. What can he do this time round? Love his reaction. He believed. He would take out 170. And when the first treble 20 80? missed, he was mortified. This to hold his throw, Jamie Hughes. 20 for tops. One dart at it. Can't miss. Game on the second leg. Jamie Hughes. Going back to the first game on. And still, this match full of high quality finishing five out of seven seven out Could of twelve you? outstanding Sixteen. Parker bus in there. 140. One in each corner. Couldn't squeeze the one in the middle. 125. I imagine that Glenn will move to the southern half of the board here. Sixty. 
Glenn with the darts in this leg. Looking to hold his throw. 100. Twice. To move three nil up in sets. Jamie desperate to break. Two opportunities to do it in this set. And you sense that this first one isn't going to be taken. 104 then for Glenn. Still, we haven't had a missed double that has cost. Double 16. 88. Will that be the first? But Jamie not on the finish. And still, we haven't had more than one single leg. Where both players have had darts at doubles. Then you require 16. Double eight for a 2-1 lead in the third. First time he's missed double eight all night. What about double four? 12. Jamie require 107. Well, is that significant? He's missed four darts for this leg. Tops for Hughes to break. Good yes. on the third leg. Jamie Hughes. He does make Durham pay, and how? First leg, Jamie to the first game on. First time a missed double has cost a player. Hughes now. If he holds here, we're back on throw. One hundred and forty. Forty. Andy Fordham, champion in 2004. I tell you what, every time he comes here, his wrist must hurt, the amount of autographs he has to sign, the amount of selfies he has to pose for. 137. And Richie Ashdown's body double is in tonight as well. That's the one on the left, obviously. One hundred. Ninety-eight. One two six for Durant to break back. It's a nice finish. One two six. If you miss the treble nineteen first start, you have another chance. But Jamie Hughes yeah. tiles the pressure yeah. onto the big finish. So all about the nineteens. Treble for the bullseye. Yes, bullseye to break right back. Ninety two. Jamie required forty one. Nine double sixteen for the set. Two darts for his first set of the night. James from the third set, Jamie Hughes. And Jamie's partner, Jane Euphoric. Jamie on the ball, halves the deficit, but significantly that, of course, was the set against the Durant throw. So effectively, we're all Paul back set, on the throw like now the as we prepare for the start of set number four. Jamie Hughes has just been 100. phenomenal when presented with a chance to win a leg. He's missed three doubles, but none of them has mattered because he's won those three legs. Glenn Durrance were pretty 41. good, but he's just missed five in a row. Seven out of 12 looks a lot better than seven out of 17. Ninety-nine. 
140. Both men have had such impressive years. Glenn, the BDO ranking of six now up from 11 last year, but Jamie not quite come from nowhere to get into the top five of the ranking list, but all oh, but certainly enjoyed the best year of his career, winning his first ranking title in Antwerp. Then reaching the final of the Winmore World Masters in Hull, where he came back from 5 what 2 down in the semi final to beat Martin Adams 6 5 right before losing to Martin Phillips in the final. And won the Zyder Down Masters, beating Gary Robson 5 0 in the final. What Has shown himself to be a big game, big night player, and does so again with a brilliant 170, which leaves him one dart at double 16. I tell you what, Jim, it's very difficult to name a favourite here. At this position, Durren leading by two sets to one. Hughes, metronomic on his doubles, finding double 16 to take the lead in this fourth set, looking to level the match. Honestly. Whose match is this? 115. Finished 202 in four darts there, Jamie. Treble 20, treble 20, ball double 16. His finishing tonight 100. has been devastating. That was one of the things that you would have looked at in the first round tie against Van der Horst. And you could have made a case for Jamie being able to improve. We hit 10 from 29 that 100. night. So uh, low 30s in terms of percentage. Tonight he's hit 8 out of 11. 73%. It's not early in the match either. 60. This is set four. And the first three sets, only one of them has failed to go the distance. And that was 3 1. Excellent from Durant. Outstanding. That's his fourth. Another fine mess he's put Jamie into. 58, Glenny require 106. 74. Sets it up nicely. With Jamie on 283. 140, Glenny requires Jane looks exhausted. Jane, Jane I've got bad the news. It's the first of four, Glenn, like and it looks like it might go all the way. Forty-six. And here's an opening. For the seventh seeded Durrant. Ninety six. Uh. Fifty nine. Fifty-seven. Eighty-five. Quiet start to this leg here. Jamie Hughes has the darts. Glenn Durrant wants to find a couple of trebles. 58. Can't do so. 58. Scrappiest leg of the match, probably. But it doesn't last long. It doesn't stay scrappy, does it? Not with these two on the hockey. Just a little bit of a breather after the brilliance that we've had.
98. So Jamie will be first to a finish. Doesn't Pulse take three. much out of 171 though. Possible opening here for Glenn Duran. One hundred and forty. Jamie McQuire, one hundred and twenty. Two excellent trebles, putting real pressure on this one twenty-eight as Hughes looks to hold the throw. Good first dart. Good second dart. Double ten. One twenty-eight. One hundred and eighteen. Glenn, 18 wasn't enough, and it's 52 now for Durrant for a leg against the throw. Double 16. Oh, oh, oh. Doesn't count because it has to be thrown deliberately. And over your shoulder, like someone chucking some salt for good luck, is clearly not a deliberate attempt to hit the board. So, two 16s. To break the throw of Hughes. Outstanding from both Get players. Just to repeat then, Jamie Hughes is making his lakeside debut. He looks like he was born to play on the big stage. Glenn Durrant, whose finishing is clinical, whose scoring is so powerful. He's only well, here for the second year. And he's never been beyond round two. He's never won two sets in round two so far. These aren't lakeside powerhouses. These are relative newcomers. But they're treating us to a really tasty contest. We haven't got a clue who's going to win it. But just at the moment, the advantage is with the seventh seeded Glenn Durrant. A boy from the black country, Jamie Hughes, as he likes to be known with... Plenty to ponder right now. I'll tell you another man who will have a, a little bit to ponder, although he will certainly be enjoying the spectacle. And that's Daryl Fitton, who will play the winner of this one. Something else to look forward to. 140. Down to a finish. A two-figure finish. Glenn Dur Duran. For the set. 125. Glenn you require 86. 86 then. For the set. And Jamie back on 235. 54. Glenn can afford just to set it up after missing the target with darts one and two. Fifty-eight. Look for 25 there to leave him Glenn on 170. Looks to the heavens. Double 16 then for Durrant for a 3-1 lead. And he's Getting got the set back, set. but he lost Blender. with the darts. He breaks back straight away. Durrant has a two-set advantage. Another set, and he's in to... The quarter-finals. Fifth set, first leg, Glenn, two throw first, game on. He has the darts as well. Six-year-old Lacey watching at home. Nervous times for her. Nervous times for Jamie's fiance Jane, here at the lakeside. Nervous times for all those watching back in Tipton at the tilted barrel. And most of all, of course, 78. nervous times for Jamie Hughes. But Yozza has got out of situations like this in the past. Just needs to find his best darts. That's going to fall out surely. Quick, Glenn, throw. He's got to retrieve it before he falls out. But he managed that easily enough in the end. Absolutely no way he could throw anything towards the top half of the board after that. 140. Hasn't had a 180 for a while, Jamie. Sixty-six. 
see. Forty four. That was a significant look at the score and a significant sigh. Glenn might let him in again here, though. 60. Has done. And Jamie Hughes knew that he had to break the Durant throw in set number three, and he managed it. Has to break it in set number five to stay in the tournament. 58. Missed the first of three opportunities to do so, and it does look as though it may be passing him by. Marginal advantage, but... Hasn't negated the fact that durant has got the throw. 97. One, 137 here. If something similar would do him a massive favour. 85. Glenny requiring 92. And 92 to move a little closer. Treble 17. Would have left double eight, but the single leaves him a shot at the bullseye. Good oh, yes. shot the first leg. Glenn Durant, second leg training two for first. Game on. Does it, does it. Brilliant dart. One hundred. Well, being from Tipton, Jamie Hughes loves the ball. But Glenn Durrant's loving it even more at the moment. That's four successive legs that he's won. 96. Steve Bull, that was a little reference to, from Jim. Another England international from Tipton. 59. And Jamie's sporting hero. 's likes his boxing Jamie Hughes and to use an analogy from that sport he is on the ropes 100 but to continue the analogy he's on the ropes but with a puncher's chance needs to come out swinging jabs aren't 59. good enough at this stage but it goes without saying he has to hold his throw. He's got two opportunities to break the Durant throw, and if he can do that, he's right back in the match. 115. 15. The problem that he's had is that Glenn has consistently outscored him in the first nine darts of the... 82. ...leg. He's 18 points better. This news makes no difference over those first nine darts. So he's getting to the doubles more quickly. 85. <laughs> 99. Well, there you see those first Lenny nine averages, and that's an extraordinary difference. And that's why it's Durant here who's throwing a treble 18. And double 16 for a two-leg lead. 89. In this fifth set. Jamie and he Maguire just missed. 102. Must get this, Jamie Hughes. Must get it. To hold his throw. Treble 14. The tops can't now finish. 37. Glenn, you require 16. So, Glenn. 2-8. Two fours. Game from the second leg. Glenn leg away. Third leg, Glenn two for first. Game on. Like a runaway train now, Glenn Durrant. Five legs in a row. And if he can extend that to six, he is in to that quarter final against Daryl Fitton. What One a start! One hundred and eighty. Maximum number five for him. And he's barely 300 points away now.
104. What a way to start a leg when you're throwing for a place in the Lakeside quarterfinals. He's blocked the bed a little there, so switches down to the 19s, but does so sensationally well. It's unfortunate just to stay in touch here from Jamie Hughes. One hundred and forty. What you can ask of any professional sportsman is that they have the ability to step up to the plate and deliver their best when they need it most. And Durant has done that. This is the biggest game of his life. He averaged 96 against Sedlacek. 97. He's averaging 98 tonight, which is comparable with anybody in the tournament. A little bit like Scott Mitchell this year. Glenn Durant's come here. And he's wandering around up on the 19. World Championship stage like he owns it. This is for the match. Treble 16 for double 12. So just a single, he can't 89. now finish. Jamie will require 131. Jamie will think back to all the times that he's uh, taken out 131 on a practice board or in anger. He's never needed it more than now. Can't finish now, and uh, Jamie, 57. many people's tip for the title, on the brink 40. of going out. Glenn Durrant, 40 points away from a place in the quarterfinals at Lakeside. Glenn He's done it! Glenn Durrant, Glenn Durrant, the boy Durrant. from Bo has been brilliant. He beats Jamie Hughes by four sets to one, and he's through to the Lakeside quarterfinals.